Today I'm off to the Lockhart Shire, an easy 40 minute drive from Wagga Wagga. It's here where I'll explore beautiful art inside of galleries and on larger than life concrete canvases. I'll also explore new heights at two of the region's most impressive natural landmarks. I cannot wait to start exploring. I'm here at the Galore Hill Scenic Reserve, a landmark that rises about 200 metres above the beautiful plains and the countryside here. It provides 360 degree views out to Lockhart, Galore, Wagga Wagga and even out to the rock. You can also see some beautiful flora and fauna uh, and it really is a fantastic view across the countryside. A 20 minute drive from Galore Hill and you're in the charming town of Lockhart. From its veranda-lined main street to its beautiful sculptures and artworks dotted throughout the township, there's always something to do. I'm here to check out Green's Gunya Museum. Its array of artefacts, photographs and machinery all share the story of the Lockhart area. Heather, thank you so much for welcoming me here today to the museum. Um, talk me through what we're about to see. Well, let's come in and, and uh, look at the uh, wonderful wool art by Doris Golder. And she did most of these in the 1980s to the early okay. 1990s, and they're all made out of fleece wool. Yep. She'd pull out the pieces of wool yep. and twist it in her fingers like that and just lay. So when we opened the gallery in 07, prior to that, she just had them in her bedroom. So we were very fortunate to, to actually work up a little gallery for her and, and have them on display. So I've grabbed a bite to eat from one of the great cafes that you can find here in the Lockhart Shire and I'm going to enjoy it here under the shadow of one of the town's water towers. This particular one here in Lockhart features flora and fauna that you can find in the local region and is actually one of three water towers. The others can be found in Yurong Creek and Milbrolong. So time to tuck in. After lunch, I'm headed to the Rock Nature Reserve, also known as Kengal Aboriginal Place. It's here that I'm meeting with Wiradjuri Elder, Uncle James Ingram, to find out the cultural significance of this incredible place. So Uncle James, thank you for joining me here this afternoon. If you don't mind talking to me about the, the cultural significance of where we are to the Wiradjuri people. Well, the, the rock, Kengal we call it, is a men's initiation place and it's also a women's birthing area. It's supposed to represent Biami, which is Oran, the, the, the star system, and then he's got three dingoes actually. But these are the two, two male dingoes laid down and await for Biami to return. And when he returns, there's be a thousand years place. Wow. It's a very sacred site to us. Connecting with the stories at Kengal Aboriginal Place makes this region truly memorable. As the sun sets, I'm back in Wagga Wagga to enjoy a local produce picnic in the most magical of locations and to reflect on my day. From the heights of Galore Hill to the wonderful wool art of Doris Golder, there truly is so much to see and do around the Lockhart Shire. I've had a great time exploring and you will too.